Hello and welcome for everyone who wishes for anonymity in this surveillance and insecure world we call the internet. As always, my alias is Apron, and I want to begin by giving you a small background of why the internet is so vulnerable. The internet was first put into action in the 1960s by the United States Department of Defense. The first network system created was called ARPANET, which stands for Advanced Research Projects Agency Network. So we now know, or already knew, that the internet was created for the military to securely communicate with each other. This system was built upon trust, where every computer trusted other computers with information it provided. As the internet spiraled out of control and into the hands of the public, and the public being so amazed by this invention, we as humans started to build upon it. The mistake is never changing how the internet operates with trust. The internet is too big to take back, and change so security researchers do their best to minimize this trust. A common trick is to hide your IP address from whomever you are communicating with. The best way we can do that today is with a VPN or proxy, basically connecting to that server first before making your connection to whomever you want to hide from. Now, there is a free application that forces TCP connections made by any application you have through proxy servers. This can be one proxy server or more. As you add proxy servers, your internet speed decreases as your privacy increases. This is your decision based on the current situation you're in, but what I can help you with is configuring a wonderful free application called Proxy Chains and how I find fast proxies for free. To start off, we want to open up our terminal and since I'm on Arch Linux, I install Proxy Chains from the official repository. So just a simple pacman tech s proxy chains will get that installed for you. If you're on any other Linux operating system, you will have to figure out how to install it on your own. Next thing is the configuration file that we have to configure. Now this con configuration file, at least for me, and probably for any other Linux operating ma uh, machine, it's gonna be in slash etc slash proxychains.conf. You can use nano to edit it or whatever you want. I'm just going to use gedit so it's easier on your guys' eyes. Be sure you do um, have root privileges to edit this file. All right, so the first options that you want to be concerned about is the first um, four, which is dynamic chain, strict chain, round robin chain, and random chain. Now, I'm not going to explain what these do because it's clearly explained in these paragraphs over here um, but what you want to do is select one and be sure to remove the comment sign just like dynamic chain has no comment or pound sign next to it so this is the one that's going to be used unlike strict chain round robin chain or random chain uh, so be sure to select one of them that fits your needs as we go down here scroll all the way down you'll see the proxy list format Now this format has some examples here we're more concerned about the HTTP proxy with no username or password. So we're going to go ahead and find a proxy for this. Now I already have one down here because I know it's, uh, I tested this before and it works and it's fast. Um, but this is the format you're going to want to do. So to go ahead and type HTTP and then press tab and go ahead and insert the IP and then tab again and then the port you want to connect on. Um, this is a free prox proxy so you do not need a user and pass. If you want to know where I find proxies, I have a site here called gatherproxy.com. I filter the proxy by port. Uh, I want to show a full list, and my anonymity level is going to be elite. And we're going to go ahead and filter this. And you can see a whole bunch of proxies here. And um, the response time, you want something very low. Uh, it's because you're going to be waiting for a while if it's over 100 even or 200. Um, but that's that. So we have our proxy all configured and we save the file and we go ahead and exit out. After that we have our command proxy chains and after this command is whatever application you want to force this proxy through. Uh, I'm going to do Firefox for this example but you can even use applications like Nmap uh, if you want to do scanning or anything like that. So we're going to go ahead and open this. As you can see, it's making the connections and it connect to DuckDuckGo successfully. If we do a what is my IP, you can see the connections going through here 
and you can see that my p is this the one that we set it to and that is it guys thank you guys for watching i hope you guys learned something new and stay secure online i'll see you in the next video